Washington Post journalist and resident idiot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's it's so overwhelming. Funny. Says China's hotel COVID. Yeah, we need those here too. What the fuck? Friday. Oh, shut up, Karen. F moron. I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is what's next. It's really hard. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Bargonzo here. Another What's Next, your daily. Happy Monday. Well, coming off a bevy of stories, including, of course, uh, Elon Musk, Twitter, how he can, continues to drop hammers in regards to the left. And, of course, they're all crying and pearl clutching. But speaking of crying and pearl clutching, Taylor Lorenz. Yes, that Taylor Lorenz, Washington Post journalist and resident idiot Taylor Lorenz, who, of course, became famous for crying after she got supposedly doxxed, but then turns around and goes after Libs of TikTok and their founder and doxes her and her family. But that's not good enough, of course. You know, she got all butt hurt and wrecked them clinching when... Elon Musk continue to do what he has continued to do. But I'm not here to talk about uh, her constant crying. Well, then again, we are here to talk about her. China's lockdowns regarding COVID. What do we know about them? Well, we do know about them that they set up a wonderful, beautiful, and I mean, mwah, excellent facility for those who want to stay. You know, hotel COVID in China. Well, like those black flag pest control commercials from back in the day. Pests check in, but they don't check out. Let's take a look. This comes out of the Post Millennial. Washington Post, Taylor Lorenz, yes, moron and idiot, cheers on China's lockdowns as CCP violently cracks down on its citizens. And there is the cry bully herself. In a response to the Washington Post article about a COVID outbreak in China, which CCP met with insanely strict lockdowns, such as wielding residents into apartment buildings and, of course, beatings, the outlet's tech editor and notorious cry bully, Taylor Lorenz, came out essentially in favor of deadly lockdowns and opposed to the U.S. not enforcing harsh COVID restrictions. The article Lorenz referenced by Christian Shepard and Vic Chang spoke about how China's zero COVID policy has a major flaw, which is that population lacks natural immunity. Quote, after months with only occasional hotspots in the country, about most of its 1.4 billion people have never been exposed to the virus, the article reads. Lawrence replied, there is no lasting natural immunity to the coof. You can get it over and over again because there's so many endless involving strains. What do we want? Like what? Like 9, 10 at this point? And antibodies wane. Also, she continued, endorsing lockdowns, choosing not to kill off millions of vulnerable people, as the U.S. is doing, isn't a critical flaw. The article she's referencing, a COVID outbreak in the verge of being China's biggest of the pandemic has exposed a critical flaw in Beijing's zero COVID policy. A vast population without natural immunity with record coronaviruses, sorry, record COVID viruses case going up. Supposedly, China scrambles to plug an immunity gap. Yes, by shoving them into turning camps. Lawrence, who's claimed she's got PTSD from mean tweets, yeah, you know, pearl clutching, you know, rectum clinching has been a big proponent of continued mandates and restrictions in the U.S. She speaks frequently about the long coof and the problems without restricting people. She encourages people to shut the f*** up if they don't want to address the issues of the long coof. Any journalist writing in the long coof, uh, psychological, in the face of literally all evidence, endless studies showing otherwise, should not be allowed to report on health. Psychological issues uh, don't cause organ damage, blood clots, and mitochondrial disorders. Shut the f*** up and log off. Well, turns out that the Vax is, you know, their efficacy and their wonderful and their magical, you know, is not doing any of this. Yeah. The more times you get the coof, the more likely you are to get the coof. Yes, even if you're uh, vaxxed and uh, triple vaxxed and uh, 15 quad boosted. Because vaccines don't stop long coof. Any COVID infection can lead to long coof. And of course, as for Lorenz, all this means that leaders should have pushed for COVID restrictions and keep everyone safe. If that's what she's looking for, someone should probably let her know that she can move to China and have the doors of her apartment building wielded shut. I'm sorry, welded shut, all in the name of safety. 
Here's another great story on this. Fully vaxxed, medical vulnerable people are still dying by the thousands. Gee, I wonder why. Everyone is getting long coof, and neither liberal nor progressive leaders have pushed for the coof protections to keep everyone safe. With the lack of government control restrictions, Lawrence notes that individuals must restrict themselves. Quote, if you're hosting an event, outline COVID safety precautions early, clearly, and stick to them. We are still in a pandemic, people. Don't you understand? Long Coof continues to disable millions and thousands are dying, many old and vulnerable. You should care about protecting them, she writes. These restrictions in China have become so intense that after a, a outbreak at Foxconn uh, forced the iPhone factory to shut down. Yes, Apple's iPhone. Yeah, you know, they're making those wonderful $1,000 iPhones for $50. You know, those sweatshops, you know, child labor issues. No, no, no. Human rights conditions. No, no, no. We're not going to talk about that. Um, restrictions in China resulted in people being locked down inside their apartment building that caught fire with residents dying, being trapped inside as long as you're safe. This led to further protests that continued throughout the weekend. When you have someone who is such a blatant idiot or ignorant, this goes beyond ignorance. Ignorance, of course, is lack of knowledge. Lorenz is lack of brains. Seriously. She has no credible skills whatsoever except crying profusely and that she has PTSD like a lot of our military, you know, because she's right there with them. When it comes to China's lockdown policy, you know, locking people in apartments, willing the door shut, setting them on fire, throwing them into internment camps, Taylor Renz, thumbs up. What the U.S. is doing, thumbs down, according to her. You know, we're still in a pandemic. People are still dying. You know, are we going to talk about the vaccine? No, 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 no. Let's not talk about the efficacy of the vax, the magical, wonderful vax that Dementia Joe keeps on pushing out there. You just said it the other day, just before Thanksgiving. Get your vax on. Get your vax on before you meet up with family and friends. And of course, as we all know, we are in the just beginnings of the winter season. And of course, there will be winter death, according to Joe Dementia. But we're not here to talk about Joe Dementia. Once again, Taylor Lorenz opens up her mouth, shows both legs down her throat, and chokes on them, as always. And of course, she's getting ripped to death in regarding of it on, of course, on Twitter. And of course, she will be crying and pearl clutching because that's what she does best. It's not about writing. It's not about doing homework. It's not about doing uh, your part. It's not about doing, uh, you know, researching and, uh, you know, make sure the, the science is correct because we're, according to her, it's Fauci science, which means it's all true. Well, must be nice to live in a fantasy world. Hal huh, Taylor? I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.